Okay, as you can see on my kidney table, I have a sort of random selection of some stuff, but I wanted to go over some random supplies I have found over the years that are very helpful to my teaching that I hadn't really expected, and now that I have them, I love them. So um, this was sold at Staples. Um, I think it used to be called a Donald Trump organizer. I'm not sure they call that anymore. Um, I've had it for a really long time. Um, I'm sure Staples probably just sells it, however. Um, I use this next to my kidney table. I stick it on that table right there. And um, I love it because it spins around and I can put um, dry erase markers when I'm working with teams, uh, when I'm doing fluency activities I have them all organized in these little folders here when I have um, the math RTI I have it organized up here um, at any point I have tape that I can use sticky notes I do use big ones regular size um, underneath one of these are paper clips so there's a little spot for paper clips oh and brads I put brads in there too for um, other reasons I can keep my sample um, books here so I, I always keep a sample book um, for my interactive notebooks so here's my math interactive notebook I have my reading one here I'll show you that in a second and then for my RTI teams I have dry erase boards and so they fit here really good I keep my fluency assessment schedule um, even if students have behavior situations um, it's for me able to get it pretty quick so I have this little board that says like okay look at this really quick let's be mindful quiet your body you know calm down let's think let's see how big the problem really is and so they can like earn little stars uh, throughout the the week for, for remembering how big the problem is. I usually keep a good pair of scissors in here too. Um, I keep some pens in here sometimes. Um, so I just really like it because it's easy to spin around and it kind of fits there. And so I use this a lot. Um, it also can fit a binder. So here's one of my group binders where I keep anecdotal, anecdotal records and things in it too. So um, I really, really like this thing. So Object number two is gel pens. In my life, I never would have thought that I'd want to use gel pens this much. Um, it seems like a hassle, it seems kind of crazy, but students really actually enjoy them a lot. I started using them about three years ago and it's been amazing. Um, and actually, uh, we use them for interactive notebooks. I do a lot of interactive notebooking and so they can switch different colors. So here's my example, but like we went over genres, um, this is how, well, that's race, that doesn't have as many notes, but, you know, they go over, like, what an antagonist is, what a protagonist is, and so they can do their examples and notes in different, um, gel pens, and so I kind of hand them out to each team, and I like to put them color-coordinated, so then, like, team one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and I know that each team kind of has that color, and sometimes they play a little game where I'll, like, toss it to a team, and I'm like, team one, team two, team three, and they really like that game. Uh, and then I tell them at the end, okay, everyone should have 17 pens. And then when I collect them all back up, I actually have a student whose job uh, with another student at the end of the day is to put them all back in here. And they know I'm kind of like a color coordinated sort of person. And so they have actually taken the lead in making sure that it goes by those colors, which is kind of nice. And then if they're ever missing a pen or something like that, we don't go out to recess yet because it's right before recess till we find the pen. And I haven't ever really lost a pen in about three years. Uh, I do have one empty space here, but I was doing fluency tests with that pen. So I I use them as well but the students really really love doing the gel pens um, I've bought them on Amazon for a pretty good price uh, one of the ways that I've gotten them is at Costco Costco had them for um, a great deal I bought like four or five of them at that point and I've just kind of kept them in the closet since then um, after that I have gone to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and I've used their 40% uh, off or 50% off coupon so loving the gel pens um, I talked about these before, speaking of Hobby Lobby or Michaels, uh, using that coupon code is I organize all my task cards in this. It um, has a way to do, um, well, I guess it's for pictures. It's a way to organize pictures, and so you used to be able to put them in these little storage containers. But that way I have the task cards all organized by each individual one, and then I keep a list of all of the different task cards here. So I love this thing. It really keeps my life organized. Um, another thing that I have, I'll get back to this one later, is, um, I bought these when the garden department was on sale, and I use, um, 
sharpies like metallic sharpies to write on them and so these are for certain tables and so I call them my foo foo buckets but it's really just a little trash bin and so when we are doing interactive notebooks and stuff like table three takes this bucket and then they can throw all of their trash in here without always getting up and down uh, to go to the trash can and then at the end materials getter just empties it out for them um, I also asked parents and this is where I keep these for interactive notebooks because these scissors tend to work a lot better for those than the little scissors which tend to rip and I have fourth graders so they're pretty responsible and good at doing scissors um, I asked parents just to donate any big scissors they might lie around have lying around the house because I guess over time they just end up collecting scissors and so I end up getting these big scissors I have them numbered so I ended up with like 20 scissors at one point and so now I have a whole bunch of scissors to use so that that's another thing that uh, has worked out pretty good I, I love that um, this love this thing it's usually for um, scrapbooking and it's an advanced tape glider I've gotten it at Michaels the refills really aren't bad um, to buy it itself it's a wee bit expensive but like I said throw that coupon on there but I love this for putting together like my um, file folder reports that are over there sorry it got a little fuzzy a uh, file folder reports or something like that that I need to do very quickly um, so you just kind of push this little lever here and you go on the paper and you roll it and I don't know if you can see that but it leaves sort of this um, row of glue and then you can stick another paper on it really quick. They do have glue that is um, removable, like you can move it really fast. Um, I use the one that is not moving really fast because I pretty much know where I want things, but it sticks really, really well. Um, and I've used that for posters and things as well, so that's been awesome. Um, these are some little, um, they're pretty cheap. I've ordered them on Amazon. I found them at other places, but they're like key rings that are plastic. And so what I do with these is I um, put them on the students whose work is the highest level. And they see these and they get super excited about them, which is kind of funny. And I put it on, and the, I have to punch the holes on the other side because I want the back to show up on it. But um, And then I give the students kind of a like a stinky sticker here that uh, they love those as well in fourth grade. They're kind of past the like cool cutesy stickers, but the ones that smell they're like psyched about. Um, the highest grades in the class, I hand them back, and this is kind of a, a pile of the students' work. I hand them back with this this ring on it, and then later on they get to keep it, and they're like super excited because they know they can take this paper and they can walk over here to something. I um, I call them the wise wranglers, but uh, you can use whatever you want. So there's wise wranglers because our uh, mascot at our school are wranglers or cowboys, and I got these. Um, what are they like 3m sticky sort of hooks and so they're very small but the students know that they can come and hang their paper on and it kind of looks neat from far away they kind of hang at this angle uh, and then they can see the highest grades of the class and then when they have parent teacher conferences uh, like they had this week so I had some of them missing they can just take their paper off uh, take it off grab it and then they get to take it home and they get to keep the little ring But they just get all excited because the ring it sort of symbolizes like doing a really really great job uh, For their work. So that's uh, those are some just random little tools that I use in my classroom that um, I found over the years that are really really helpful